Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, is renowned for his leadership during one of the nation's most tumultuous periods. But did you know that behind his amazing statesmanship lay a culinary treasure hidden from the world? Yes, you heard it right, my food-loving friends. In the annals of history, amidst the tales of civil strife and the quest for freedom, there lies a less explored facet of America's most revered figure. A journey not through the battlefields and speeches, but through the flavors and aromas that delighted one of the nation's greatest leaders. And today, for the first time in history, you are all welcome to delve into Abraham Lincoln's unexplained gourmet treasures. A voyage into the culinary preferences of Abraham Lincoln himself. Stay with us as we unravel the recipes and dishes that define the palate of the man behind the legend. But hold on, foodies as we welcome you all to the Culinary Timeline channel like always. Just a reminder that before we dig into the awesome tale of Lincoln's favorite dishes and recipes, to increase our time warp of tastes together, please make sure to browse through our library of episodes after this video to continue your historical culinary conquests. And let's make history together as we aim to reach our next milestone of watch hours. Our community thrives with each minute you spend with us. So, Flavor your curiosity by watching our previous episodes featuring the lavish banquets of emperors, the peculiar palates of presidents, and other fascinating culinary tales. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our updates from the fascinating corners of history. Now gather your appetite for adventure and stay with us until the end. You'll be amazed at the secrets we're about to unravel, so watch until the very last bite. This episode will not only satisfy your hunger for knowledge, but also come with a side of surprise that you won't want to miss. Let's lift the lid together on Abraham Lincoln's unexplained gourmet treasures with his delightful dining habits. Before we get rolling, foodies, bear with me while I sound a little strange. I've been somewhat unwell, but don't worry, I haven't lost my appetite. Now, on with the video. Rules of living. Don't worry. Eat three square meals a day. Say your prayers, be courteous to your creditors, keep your digestion good, steer clear of biliousness, exercise, go slow and go easy. Maybe there are other things that your special case requires to make you happy, but my friend, these, I reckon, will give you a good life. These famous words are from one Abraham Lincoln, the personality we'll be discussing today. In the softly lit dining room of the White House, a table is set with elegance, the glow of candlelight dancing across the polished silverware. Imagine the bustling kitchen just moments before, where the air is thick with the aroma of simmering chicken, mingling with the earthy scents of fresh herbs harvested from the kitchen garden. My friends, you will be amazed to know that contrary to popular belief, Lincoln wasn't just a man of log cabins and simple fare. Abraham Lincoln's appetite for life extended far beyond the political realm. His love for food was legendary, with anecdotes of his gastronomic adventures peppered throughout history. He possessed a surprisingly sophisticated palate, with a particular fondness for simple, tasty, traditional and interesting dishes and recipes. Lincoln, known for his humility and simpler way of life, also had a side to him that found pleasure in certain foods. But what were these dishes that comforted and delighted Lincoln during those turbulent times? And what exactly tickled Honest Abe's taste buds? Well, let's start with his favorites. First up, we have succotash, not the suffering type, a humble yet hearty dish consisting of corn, beans, and sometimes other vegetables. Legend has it that Lincoln enjoyed this simple fare, finding comfort in its rustic charm. And this simple traditional dish was often served to him in days of struggle. Second on the menu is his most favorite and famous chicken fricassee, a French-inspired dish featuring tender chicken cooked in a creamy sauce. Lincoln was known to indulge in this decadent delight, savoring each mouthful with gusto. There's something about the rich aroma of simmering chicken and the spices that transports you back in time. A comforting stew, no doubt, rich with the flavors of tender chicken and hearty gravy, sometimes accompanied by soft, flaky biscuits. The cook, a master of the craft, tenderly stirs the sauces and ingredients, ensuring it is just the right consistency to cloak the tender pieces of chicken in a velvety embrace. As the dish is brought to the table, President Lincoln, clad in his usual attire, allows himself a rare smile, anticipating the comfort this meal will bring. This recipe was made in a skillet by cooking chicken in hot oil over a medium-high heat for four to five minutes until no longer pink. After that, remove the chicken and set aside. Add mushrooms, onion, and garlic to the skillet. 
Cook for four to five minutes until liquid evaporates. Set this aside in a small bowl and stir together sour cream, flour, and season with salt and pepper. Add the sour cream mixture, milk, and broth to the mushroom mixture in the skillet. Cook and stir until thickened and bubbly. Add marjoram, basil, oregano, and lemon juice and cook for an additional minute. Now add chicken and sherry. Heat thoroughly, and there you have it, gastronauts. Chicken fricassee. In fact, one can easily imagine Lincoln enjoying this epic tasty dish after a long day of political maneuvering. The room, silent for a moment as the first bite taken. The rich flavors of the fricassee cutting through the weight of the day's decisions. Around the table, advisors and family alike share in this simple pleasure, the meal becoming more than just sustenance, a brief respite from the burdens of leadership and strife, a reminder of life's simpler joys. What do you think? Would you give this dish a try? Let us know in the comments below. But it wasn't just savory dishes that captured Lincoln's palate. Oh no no. He also had a sweet tooth, with a particular fondness for apple pie. Americans and their pies, eh? In fairness, who can resist the allure of a freshly baked apple pie? Lincoln certainly couldn't, often indulging in this American classic dessert. And what could be more American than apple pie? It's said that this was Lincoln's preferred dessert, embodying the warmth and comfort of American kitchens. This classic was a constant presence at the Lincoln household, with Mrs. Lincoln keeping a steady supply of the president's favorite fruit on hand. Just picture Lincoln, after a long day of navigating the complexities of a nation, settling down with a warm slice of apple pie, that sweet cinnamon filling bringing a moment of peace and solace. A tried and true comfort food. Mashed.com also claimed in its report that Abraham Lincoln loved food that reminded him of his childhood. He never lost his boyhood taste for Kentucky corn cakes, gooseberry cobbler, rail splitters, gingerbread cookies, and corn dodgers. According to A Treasury of White House Cooking by Francois Rissevy, Lincoln liked his chicken cut in small pieces fried with the seasonings of nutmeg and mace and served with a gravy made of the chicken drippings. Lincoln preferred to fill himself on hearty, simple, home-cooked meals. Anyway, you may be shocked to know, but according to some other reports, he also liked another delicacy, oyster stew. Now just picture the kitchen coming alive with the preparation of oyster stew a dish that held a place of prestige on Lincoln's dining table. The creamy, briny flavors of this dish were a luxurious treat in the Lincoln household, offering a taste of the bounteous American waters. He possessed a surprisingly sophisticated palate with a particular fondness for oysters. These little morsels of the sea were a delicacy back in the day, and Lincoln enjoyed them both raw and cooked. Just imagine, my friends, cracking and opening a fresh oyster and savoring its briny goodness when you feel hungry. A mouth-watering thought. No? Our culinary tale takes a whimsical turn now with a recipe believed to be among Lincoln's cherished treats. It's a moist and tender cake, tweaked with the flavors of vanilla and almond extract, adorned with slithered honey almonds. This specially made cake was a favorite delight of Lincoln, which he mostly had at home. According to the newsletter Appetite for Knowledge by the University of Wyoming, Lincoln was not known for excessive meals and tended to graze at his meals rather than indulge in large portions. Lincoln rarely ate breakfast. If he did eat breakfast, he would have an egg, a piece of toast, and coffee. As for lunch, Lincoln often dined on a tray in his office so that he could continue his work. Lunch consisted of a biscuit, a glass of milk in the winter, and some fruit or grapes in the summer, as told by John Hay, an aide to President Lincoln. Dinner could sometimes be entirely forgotten unless a tray of food was forced upon him. Also of note, Lincoln did not drink alcohol. Instead, he would keep his cup filled with water or occasionally milk. President Lincoln was fond of certain foods, especially apples, and especially in pie form. Fruits, nuts, cheese, and crackers were also often enjoyed by the president. So, gastronauts, Lincoln's love for food wasn't just about personal pleasure. He understood the power of sharing a meal, using it to foster connections and build relationships. White House dinners were legendary for their variety and abundance, showcasing the best of American cuisine and fostering a sense of unity amongst guests from all walks of life. It becomes clear that food wasn't just sustenance for him. It was a source of joy, comfort, and connection. In the end, we can say that Lincoln's food preferences offer us a glimpse into the personal life of a man whose existence was fiercely public. These dishes, ranging from the simplicity of chicken stew to the elegance of oyster stew and the homely delight of apple pie, not to mention the sweet surprise of his favorite cake, 
paint a portrait of a president whose tastes were as diverse as the country he led. Well, there you have it. Today's journey through Abraham Lincoln's unexplained gourmet treasures comes to an end. But the flavors and stories of his favorite dishes continue to inspire and intrigue. Thank you for joining us on this tasteful voyage. If you have enjoyed unlocking the culinary secrets of one of America's most iconic figures, give us a thumbs up, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more tantalizing journeys through history's unexplored corners. And if you haven't yet gone through the epic videos on amazing culinary content, then do check out all the videos on the Culinary Timeline channel. As for me, I need two things. A nice cup of tea to soothe my throat, and a nice warm piece of apple pie, just for me. I'll see you soon for more fascinating culinary adventures, and until then, keep exploring, keep cooking, and keep the legacy alive.